Hi, good morning. Uh, welcome to the Village Hotel and the first ever conference for vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Um, it's a pleasure to have you all here and for taking the time out that you've, you've done today to attend. Um, I'm sure you're going to have a, a very good weekend and those that are here just for today. Um, there's a lot of talks that are going to be very informative. Just a little bit about us, for those that don't know, um, we're Annabelle's Challenge. Uh, we're a UK registered charity that um, was started just shortly after Annabelle was diagnosed with the condition. Uh, Annabelle is my daughter, um, who's eight now. She was diagnosed when she was three. Um, it's a life-threatening, incurable genetic condition. So I'm hoping that the medics that are here today can take something away and help us spread that awareness and get colleagues involved. Um, and obviously the patients and family members that are here today to, to learn the very latest information. So our journey started in December 2012 when Annabelle was diagnosed. We then created Annabelle's Challenge a couple of weeks later in January 2013. And then two months later we started the media campaign which then launched it um, nationally and got us international. Um, in May 2013 the website went live and a year later we became a UK registered charity. The following year Redford, we launched Reds for Veds Day which was to recognise that for one day in May EDS Awareness Month it was dedicated to vascular Ehlers-Danlos so we could you know, get the word out there and that's when we started planning for this conference so it's been two years in the making and here we are today so it's quite an honour to actually see everybody here and uh, these are the attendees, we've got 240 delegates that have registered for today of which 140 are family, friends and supporters, 54 medical professionals, I'm very pleased that you could make it but the big one for me is there's 50 people in this room, some are downstairs because the children that have got the condition um, and they've come over from Germany, Denmark, France, Holland, Jersey, Isle of Man, UK, Australia and the US so a very good turnout and I'm sure you'll be proud that we've we've done our best, it's your conference, it's not our conference, um, get the most out of it as you can. Um, I would like to thank the Foyle Foundation and the National Lottery that's helped put this together, uh, our team at NHS Sheffield and London from the National Diagnostic Service, Ellis Danlos Support UK which has been a massive help in trying to pull this together for us. And also, I'd like to uh, recognise in memory, we, we got some significant donations throughout the last two years that have helped get this show on the road. Uh, one is Jess Friedman, who sadly passed to, to Vascular EDS. And Louise Webb, uh, who's kindly made a, a donation that's gone towards helping the children's entertainment that's going on now downstairs. So thank you very much from my heart for that. Um, we have got later on today, in the afternoon patient workshop groups that are exclusively for those that have got the condition. At that time, if you make your way to reception, to the check-in area, we'll take you to your relevant rooms. Anybody else is then free to network and just enjoy the conference facilities. Um, tea and coffee will be there as well. And during dinner at around 1.30, those who have the condition, uh, if you'd like to meet us on the front step, we're gonna do a group photo, because I think it's a big thing for us uh, and we need to get together. I'd like to welcome on stage to officially open the conference um, the Mayor of Bury, Mike Connolly, who's patron of our charity. Good morning everybody and a big, big welcome to Bury. I'm Mike Connolly and I have the honour of being the Mayor of Bury for the, well, for another week anyway. Um, <laughs> the term of officer ends a week on Wednesday but we've had a fabulous fabulous time and we're really proud that, that, that you're holding the first ever vascular EDS conference in the world actually here in Bury and that's thanks to the tenacity of, of Jared and Sarah and the team who worked tirelessly not only to find the cure for Annabelle but to, to, to fund research for, 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 every, for every sufferer. Ian and my consort and myself first met Jared and Sarah about three years ago now and we were struck then by, by the courage and the determination of that family and of course how gorgeous is Annabelle. Those of you who haven't seen her yet she's absolutely a little sweetheart and we love her to death 
and then we promised we promised them that if ever we became the mayor of Bury, we would include Annabelle's challenge in in our mayoral charity raising, and we've done that. We've kept that promise, but along the way. Um, Sarah and Jared have become really, 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 and I mean it, really, really good friends of ours. We almost feel part of the family now. Um, and this year we will have raised over £30,000 for our, all of our charities. And we hope this time next week we'll be passing a cheque for £10,000 to, to Annabelle's Challenge. So I want to welcome you to Berry. I want to welcome you to this first ever Vascular EBS conference. We do hope you enjoyed the conference and, and certainly gain a lot out of it. We hope you enjoy the facilities here at the Village Hotel. And if you get a chance, enjoy the fabulous facilities in our wonderful borough. And if we do, we do have to go now, we have another engagement at 10.30. But those of you that are staying tonight, we'll see you at the conference ball. So thank you very much indeed.